sorry, sorry. What happened? Someone's got to feel me. The guy got angry. <laughs> the guy got angry. Yeah, he was like, what the hell are you doing? Like, what? <laughs> That's three of us as one of him. Right, okay, welcome back to Today Pass, Today Crew. We've got Mark back. As we all know, me and Mark did a mock test and we both failed. So it's crunch time, right? We've got something to prove now. Mm hmm. Okay, today so. Is, today is crunch time. You good? Uh, more nervous than last time, you know, because, you know, okay. last time I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to fail this. Yeah. Today. And then today, yeah, I'm thinking I have to pass it now. So it's more pressure. Yeah, I felt the same. I thought there's <laughs> no way. There's no way talking, enjoying the day. And then at the end, what does Mark say to me? Yeah, you'll be surprised, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got me at the stop junction oh, as well. I couldn't yeah. believe I did that. Right, so where are we now? Mark's dragged me out somewhere new. Barnet, 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 uh, North London. Why are we here? Because, <laughs> uh, why not? We don't, okay. really we don't really do, I, I don't really come around here often. Yeah. Most of my videos are around Hendon the Mill Hill. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let me, let's show people a different area. Let's go to a different place. Somewhere where we're not too familiar with as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit more of a challenge for both of us. Yeah, it will be uh, because we don't know the area at all. Well, so, I, know, I know it a little bit, to be fair, to be fair. So he's got another I advantage don't, I don't want to lie. I could have said, no, I don't know this area, but I, did, I do know a little bit. I used to live around here. So. One, you're driving an automatic. Two, you used to live around here and you know mm. the area. And that, automatic, now automatic. I know why we're here. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. This is Wesley, by the way. So Wesley yeah. might be doing his mock test later today. Um, I just clocked that. Smart guy, huh? He's a I'm smart the one guy. It, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Should we get started? Yeah. Man. Yep. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. the same drill as everybody will know. All the driver faults should be up here in yellow, and all the serious or dangerous driver faults will be up here in red. And I'm sure there's not going to be any for Mark, but stay tuned to my video where you'll probably see a few. Okay, so when you're ready, Mark, and it's safe, I'd like you to drive on. All right. So, in Barnet, you're going to start on the road, like we are now, because the, the car park is too small, you're not allowed in there. Sometimes they'll get you to start, or they'll get you to finish there, but starting is always going to start on the road like we are now. So the car park is behind, just behind the test centre? Yeah. Okay, and we're just next to the test centre on the main, road, on the main road, where you would start your driving test. Which can be a bit tricky if it's busy, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So you look around, put our signal on, and then now it's a matter of waiting. There's a bus, lots of traffic behind us, so I'm just going to keep waiting. There's no rush to come out of here. People have failed here before because they rushed to come out, and then... The examiner had to use a break or stuff like that. But I'm going to keep waiting, waiting for a nice gap. I'm also thinking about the road just there as well, if any cars come from there. But I was looking like it's good after this black car. I'm going to check over my shoulder. There's another car that's come out of the road, so I'm going to wait for him to go past. More cars coming out of there. And then now it's looking like it's okay. But I'm in the park. <laughs> now he's got to do all of that again. <laughs> Oh, bloody automatic. <laughs> Alright, let me check one more time. Uh, I'll talk a bit less this time. Just fucking... No, no, keep the commentary rolling. Yeah, it's good. What I'm doing. It's very good. Alright, still lots of traffic coming, so there's no point in me even trying to move. And I'm also thinking about these guys. Now this person is next to me, I'm going to make eye contact with him. He will feel sorry for me. See? Then he's going to let me go, just like that. People are scared to use eye contact, but if you do that, most people will let you through. And I'm giving a little thanks, and we're off. Nice. Okay, so Mark, just follow the road ahead. If I need you to turn left or right, I will tell you in good time. Thank you. So normally we'll start the driving test with a tell me question because I was faffing around and waffling too much. I completely forgot to ask you. So I'll do that shortly. Okay. So if we're going straight, mostly I'll be in the left lane, especially there's a car in front of me that's turning right over there. So I'm going to be using this lane. Good. And do you think that's a main reason why we're encouraged to use the left lane to make better progress in case someone's turning right? One of the reasons, and also just because we drive on the left anyway, gen okay. in general. Cool. Okay, checking the road markings, just to make sure that I'm in the correct lane. It's looking good. And I'm just following the road ahead, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, Mark, would you be able to tell me? So I'm just going to switch lanes because I can see that that lane only turns left. Very good. So I'm just going to go into this lane here, yeah? Okay, can you tell me the road legal tyre requirements? Uh, road legal tyre requirements? Mm -hmm. uh, that there shouldn't be... Uh, there should be 1.6 millimetres of tread depth across uh, three quarters of the tyre. Uh, there shouldn't be any cuts or bulges. There shouldn't be any nails in. Is that right? 
any nails. Yeah, you don't want any nails in your tyres. No. That wouldn't be good. Um, is half of your brain actually answering the question and the other half of your brain thinking about something else, Mark? Yeah, I'm just going to creep forward to this uh, space here. Cool. Uh... We'll, we'll let that driver thought go there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that what you're thinking? Well, yeah, it's yeah, a keep clear guy. there, right? But mm. you could go up behind the bike. Yeah, yeah. space, yeah. yeah. So here's two lanes. I'm just going to check my mirror. Position myself towards the left. Good, lovely. Make sure that I'm using, using the left lane to drive in. All right, Wes, would you do me a, a cheeky, cheesy fl flavor, <laughs> craver? Um, would you flip that and just show everybody what, what's going on inside the car, please? Like inside the car. Yeah, and then I had to flip that and then everyone can just sort of see the road and see how it's going. So I can see there's a bus uh, ahead of me right now. Checking my speed, checking all around me as well. Uh, see what that bus is doing. But right now, he's okay. So this light has been green for ages, so I'm just going to reduce my speed a little bit, check my centre mirror to see, make sure it's not too close to me. And then once I go past this point, I'm going to keep going, even if you change to uh, Amber. It's quite a bumpy so road. Some of these tunes. It is, yeah. <laughs> tunes, right? It's like, put some tunes <laughs> on, bro. Co copyright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Blame YouTube for that one. I know TikTok might be all right with it, though. I hope they're not, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. A lot of people just use um, music on their TikTok lives, but I've heard some people getting banned from there as well. Well, it is kind of copyright, so I don't know how TikTok are able to have so many good tunes on there. And so I'm just going to be careful with these cars here. I'm going to go through Wow. Slowly. And it's looking like it's okay. okay. Bro, there's a spot on me. Bro, get the spot off me, please. Bro, 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 there's a spot on me. Dude, bro, it's bro, a little tiny I don't really, bro, stop, man. Look. I don't I'd spot it, bro, okay? Just, 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 it's like an ant, just with extra legs. That's yeah, all. and it can bite you, so... <laughs> Okay. Sorry. It's all right. Just going through here cautiously, keeping an eye on my speed. There's this car to find the tire in front of me, but they have to wait because I've got priority. I'm just going to keep an eye on them. Okay, there's a roundabout coming up, Mark. What I'd like you to do is take the third exit, turning right, please. Third exit? Yes, please. Okay, third exit will be coming back this way. Uh, for my sat-nav, it says that there's a third exit just over here. If you, oh, I don't know, you'd... you count this little one. Okay, okay we're going to count the little one, sorry. Yeah, I understand, that's fine. Thank you. Checking the right, it's looking good. Go here. And that second roundabout, turn left. Okay. So I'm treating them separately, checking that side, that car's indicating, but wow. I think he meant yeah. another roundabout, so I can carry on. This lady oh. has to wait. Thank you, lady. And I'll carry on. Cool. All right. I'll grab that. Nice one. Oh, can you flip that for me again? <laughs> I feel like a boomer, man. <laughs> my, son, my son's always using that word. Boomer. boomer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, boomer. <laughs> All right, here I can see the speed limit is changing because you got me last time on the speed. Not today, Scott. Not today. I turned the warning chime off today. Yeah, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. All right, so right now... would you take the next left, please? Okay. And this one, yeah. Yeah, it's just... Okay. Mirror, mirror. Check in that side. Quite narrow road around here. Very narrow. So I'm just taking it easy, taking my time, checking my mirrors. And I can see it's like a meeting situation kind of road here. Be mm -hmm. mindful of the road at uh, the speed limit as well. Can I ask you to do the manoeuvre, please, Mark? I'd like to pull up on the right side of the road facing the silver car on the right. Don't worry about the driveways, please. Do you want me to get out and get the car doing the manoeuvre on love? Uh, we could do that. Yeah, one second. So let this car uh, do their thing. This might be a bit confusing because the car. This is going to be confusing. So on your test, if this situation happens, the examiner will probably say, OK, Mark, don't worry about the manoeuvre anymore because of this lady. Cancel that and just continue to follow the road ahead. Yeah. We'll find somewhere more suitable further down, OK? No problem. Thank you. She was a nice sport anyway. Yes. She was very understanding. I think mainly people see cameras and they get very understanding, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> Is that the secret? Yeah, just, I uh, think so. I've noticed the difference. Okay, I've but, got a meeting yeah. situation here, the van there, but I can't see many spaces up ahead, so I'm just going to check my mirrors and move to the side a bit here. 
I'm not getting too close to the taxi. Once he's gone, I'm just going to check my right mirror and turn, controlling my speed with my brake. Make sure I don't get too close. Let's go. And I carry on. Let's see Mark driving a little bit. Okay, we're just following the road. Just a very sharp bend here. I'm going to keep braking from now. Check my mirror, make sure there's no one on my side. Good. Going super slow because I can't see anything. There's only space for one car here in case someone, another car is coming through. And then I can carry on. All the time thinking about any cars coming through here. At the end of the road, I'd like you to... At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn left. Thank you. Okay, so centre mirror, left mirror. Signal left. Approach it really slowly. Check the mirrors, make sure there's no one near me. So here I can't see because of that white van, so I'm just going to stop for a second to give anybody that's there any time to come out. But it should be clear now, but I'll keep checking as I come out. And then I'm done. Okay, I can see a car coming down. I don't see many spaces for him or I, so I'm just going to wait here because there's a space here for that he can go into, but his or she has stopped for me. You're like me, he or she. <laughs> I do that as so well. Carry on. Because you know, you're so used to saying he, isn't it? Yeah. Everything. Everybody says he, yeah. yeah. You never know. You never know. And I think you're right. I think it's lady. I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right, please, Mark. Okay. There's no spaces, so we'll go somewhere else, see if we can do that manoeuvre. Turn right, so centre mirror, right mirror, signal right. Approaching the junction slowly, I can see people near it that might want to cross. And there's a car turning in, so I'm just going to slow down a bit because it is quite tight there. Checking both sides. That man's blocked my view a bit, so I couldn't see, so I just wait for him to move out of the way. Stretching a bit so I can see further, and then I can... Carry on, check both sides, and then uh, fine. Excellent. At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right again, please. Okay. So mirror, mirror. Right. A warning on your on your lava. A warning. Mm -hmm. This action in this lav video could result in serious injury or adverse health effects. Okay. I don't know why that. Yeah, it's in TikTok's a little bit weird like that. It's just an algorithm thing. Yeah. That will see us driving, and then. Yeah. You know. I've noticed that. Sometimes you can post the same video twice and the next time you post it, it's fine. Okay, at the end of this road, I believe we have two mini roundabouts. Yes. Okay, so at both roundabouts, I'd like you to turn right. Okay, this guy's waiting for me. Thanks very much, sir. Or madam, didn't see him. <laughs> Was that being TPC now? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to turn right here, so mirror, mirror, signal. Watching front for any cars. This van, I don't know where he's going, so I'm just going to wait here. I don't think he knows either. Yeah, but let him make up his honest. mind, that's fine. And then, oh, there's a car coming again, so I'm just going to wait for them here. Okay, quite a busy roundabout. Once that's the car's gone, I can make my move. Right again, isn't it? You said, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. So I'm just going to signal right again. But that car is not getting blocked anymore, so I'm going to wait for another gap. Quite a lot of cars on that side, so my only hope really would be for a car coming from this way to block them. So I'm just going to keep looking out for that. At the moment, just like no one's doing that. I'm just going to keep waiting. And the other cars are in that lane over there, but I can't see behind if there's any car in the other lane. Half his motor back, there's a big gap there. So I'm going to make my move. Anybody coming from the left has to wait. So I can carry on. Good. Now, a lot of people will probably be worried about undue hesitation at roundabouts. Mm -hmm. 
that means that you would be waiting too long. There might be an opportunity to go. But like Mark said, he couldn't see through the traffic on the right. There might have been a motorbike, e-scooter, something that's not as visible as other vehicles. So it's safer probably just to wait until you could really see. So that's a fair point. Exactly. You want to be 100%. Yeah. Not 90%, not 80%, 100% that's clear. Then you make a move. Good. Otherwise, you make that mistake and yeah. could hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. How's your hand there, Where's Falling off yet? Not yet, bro. <laughs> you want me to put it back on the stand for you? It's up to yourself, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm just checking it there for a bit. I just got used to right, both of there when you guys were talking each, so. Boomer needs help. Roundabout turn left, first exit, please. Okay. So, looking up for any cars from, from the right, but it's okay. And I can carry on. Excellent. So this is a 30 zone. I'm not going to go too fast here. I'm doing about 24 right now. I'm slowing down for the bend as well because no, obviously that, it's a bit. That was on that was on 23 when you said that. Sorry. Oh, it's on 20, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was 23. So it's it's really close to how fast you're actually going, which is good. Good. Okay. So right now it's saying 10 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. More than you know. <laughs> I think it's because of the hospital, so I'm just going to go 10 miles an hour, I guess. Which is very strange. But you know in uh, in Hendon, in the test centre, there's 10, 10 mile an hour signs there. But they're not actually official signs. They're not actual official highway signs. So you don't really have to follow them until you, until you come out of the estate, then it's uh, back to 30 miles an hour again. Mm. So that's private land, that area, isn't it, mm. where the test centre is? What I'd like to say to people is public roads usually have lines on them, don't they? Like the yellow lines here, you know, and white lines here. Yeah. Normally, you know, it's a hospital here, isn't it? So, Is this a case, could be a, could your car be wrong about this road? Because I don't think this road is 10, 10 miles an hour. Stay tuned to the end of this video <laughs> where you'll find out. <laughs> I don't think this road is 10 miles an hour. Because if it was, there'll be a sign there telling us it's back down to 20 again. So. Anybody going to comment on t uh, TikTok here? What do you think the speed limit is, guys? Okay, at the end of the road, turn right, please. Okay, so mirror, mirror, signal right. So this white car, I don't know if he's going to let me through. But I think he is. Thank you very much. Check both sides again. Okay, Mark, we're going to do your manoeuvre again. So when it's safe, I'd like to pull over and stop in a convenient place on the right side of the road, please. Sure thing, so centre mirror, right mirror, signal right. You can see a nice parking bay over there. I'm going to line my car up. Since I know we're going to be doing the right revert, I want to make sure my car is nice and straight as I'm stopping. Lovely. Thank you very much, signal. Mark. You know what's coming next when you're sa when it's safe when you're safe are you safe i don't know i think it's safe <laughs> comments um i'd like to reverse back two car lengths in a straight line do not worry about the driveway so you'll be allowed to stop in front of the driveway and i think not all the maneuvers on these mock tests if we just do one we'll do one yeah you're right yeah, with that one. okay yeah, cool so take your time when you're ready. Reverse back roughly two car lengths. Oh, let's get Wes. Wes, do you mind? Not at all, bro. You all right? I'm just, um, so we're just reversing backwards? Yep, straight line. Okay, okay. All right. Let me make sure it's safe first. It is. Good point. And actually, while people are still here on YouTube, uh, this is called a Dutch. So when you open the door. Dutch reach. You remember? So you use the opposite hand. Yeah. And the same for seat belt. Use the opposite hand. You won't get a twist in the belt. And then when you twist to open the door, you'll see the traffic out your peripheral vision. Mm. Sorry, Mark, to distract you. Take no your time when you're ready. I'd like to reverse back roughly okay, two car lengths. So look all around me. Make sure it's safe. It's looking good. I've already got it in reverse. I've never reversed downhill with an auto before. So I'm just going to use my brake to control because it's really steep here. You probably can't see in the camera, but it's really, really steep. And the car's rolling downhill anyway without me having to press any gas. I'm just using my brake to control it. I can see the car coming down, so I'm just going to wait for him to go past first. Once it's gone, I'm going to look around again. Turning a little bit left so I don't get too close to the curb. I'm keeping an eye on that car over there. When he gets closer, I'll stop. So like now, I'll stop. Make sure go back a tiny bit more. And even though we're covering a driver right now, this is two car lengths. Okay. And then I'll uh, pull it up. 
put it in park. Oh, lovely. I'll just go grab Wesley. He's coming. <laughs> I didn't do a Dutch. You didn't, oh, didn't you, do a Dutch. Your own uh, example. <laughs> just see you coming outside filming the, <laughs> the spacing between the was it that the obvious oh my days right yeah. okay well as an examiner i must remain professional and quiet until the very end of this um this just, video just, just for your own uh, editing and for your own marking you do know it's reasonably close to paper yeah right? okay. it's reasonably <laughs> close don't worry just don't worry <laughs> don't worry you're all right just throwing it out there scott okay mark when you're ready and it's safe uh, so you guys can see him. Nice. Jump. Oh. Buttons. Flip. Flip. Boomer learned a new trick. Yeah. All right. You're driving on now, yeah? Yes, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on. <laughs> so, because now we're starting on the right side, I'm going to check over from my right side. Finishing over the left, I'm checking all over. It's looking good, signal. Signal. And there's a car coming, so I'm just going to wait for him to go past because he is a bit close. And oh, he's turned, so I'm just going to check again and then make a move while I'm checking that left mirror and check over my shoulder again. We're off. Yeah, I've decided I'm going to ignore your speed thing because it's still saying 10 right now. So I'm just going to rely on my eyes on the road and stuff. Okay. The car coming through, hopefully they've seen us. <clears throat> And turn right, please. Okay, so mirror, mirror, signal right. Stretching now, check both sides, looking good. And back to 30. Well, it's been 30 the whole time. Carry on. Okay, you know the time on there? What's the time I'm saying for our journey so far? I can't see it, but sorry. 27 minutes, but yep. um, it, we started driving at I think about 6. Okay, let's so, go. Yeah. All right. So I we'll need to start your independent driving soon. Right, I'd like you to take the next road coming up on the left, please. Sure. I think it's a little bit further down, but it's not too far. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. He's just there before, just after yes. the bus stop, centre Thank mirror, you. left mirror. I'm going to go quite slowly here because it is very tight. That's it's a very small turn as well. Check the mirror one more time. Checking the floor, it says 20. Okay. I find, like to find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. Okay. Mirror, mirror, I can see a space right there. No one near me, it's looking good. There. Okay, lovely. Um, we're going to start your independent drive now, please, Mark. I don't think it's going to be too difficult, right? But the sat nav is pre programmed for you. So, just to show everybody our, our one viewer on TikTok. <laughs> All right. I think you locked it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Back. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow the sat nav, please, Mark. Okay, so it's your independent drive. Um, I'll put the audio on for you as well. Um, now, the only issue with this sat nav is it isn't the same one as the test sat nav. You know, we normally use a different brand to this one, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's pretty similar. All sat navs are quite similar. So I'm going to put the audio on for you so it will talk to you just like it would do as. Yards, turn left. Onto Granville Road. Okay. Okay, just like it would be on the real test. Sure. Okay. So if you're happy with that, what I'd like you to do next is drive on and do your best to follow the sat nav, please. Sure. Okay. okay. When you're ready. So look around. Put my signal on. Put it into drive this time. Car's parking over there. I'm just going to check over again one more time. And I'm remembering that it's 20 down here. 
Okay, I can see some people standing in the road. Now turn left. To turn left. Okay. How am I doing so far, Scott? Um, you're doing good. Um, <laughs> you know, we'll give you more feedback at the end of the test if that's yes, yes, okay. Cool. I don't know. Want to tell you yeah, that's what I was just trying to think. That's why I kind of hesitated when I answered that. I was like, how would they answer that? Mm. Okay, so now mirror. Okay, so is this a left turn? I think the sat nav's misguiding yeah. you, so don't worry about In that situation, that. a lot of examiners will just say, you know, it's not really a turn, it's just a bend in the road. But you wouldn't get any, any trouble really if you signaled them. No, the yeah. of this data and, then, and you uh, cancelled it so quick, yeah. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. Now turn left. I'm not trying to cover myself, by the way. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to cover myself now, anyway. <laughs> okay, it's quite busy there, so I'm just going to wait. That's you, isn't it? Okay, off this car, it looks good. Back to the big road. Thank you very much. Username. Should be shouting out the comments, friends. Eh? Shout out the comments. Can't really read them while we're driving. <clears throat> Checking the zebra crossing both sides, looking good. Cool. Let's give it a little show. Around about, nothing coming from that side. What's good, Scott? Love your vids. What to do? Yeah, thank you. Username, yeah? Yeah, username. Ain't available. <laughs> Take the second exit at the roundabout and continue to follow A for one one. Mm. So with the sat nav, sometimes you know they use different language from the um, from the examiners. Mm -hmm. An examiner would have said go straight here, isn't it? If they said that, they would say go straight. But the sat nav will say take the second exit. Yes. Yeah. So you need to get used to how. The sat nav tells you instructions as well. Yeah, because it'll be different from uh, the examiner. examiner or, yeah. your, or your instructor as well, actually. They'll use different words. Now take the second exit at the roundabout. Okay, yes, I'm doing, darling. Go give her a name. Oh, well, she's already got a name. <laughs> Mercedes. Name? What am I oh, talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'm going to wait for this car. I don't want to risk it. So, uh, quite a few cars turning, and there's also that car over there. I don't know where he's going. Yeah, I saw it's that. It's part one. of the roundabout as well, so I need to be careful. Sometimes these little side roads, you, you might disregard them, but they're actually still part of the roundabout. Yeah, they are. So, that's so, the same roundabout we came to earlier where I said third exit, wasn't it? Yeah. So, that was the first. Okay, these people need to wait. Thanks. Prepare to turn right. Okay. Now, the thing with this sat-nav is it does tell you prepare to turn very early, okay. way so it's too far, early. So, it's far away yeah. so with the tom-toms, and this sat-nav included, and nearly every sat-nav, at the top you'll have a banner. Oh, I tapped it. At the top you'll have a banner, and this banner will tell you how many yards away your next direction is, and what direction it is. I might get one of those soon. Which one? Uh, the ones that they use in the tests. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're not too expensive, they're like yeah, 90 quid. Or oh, they might be even cheaper yeah, now, yeah, 60 quid. Yeah, I bought mine a time ago. When you first came out? When it first came out, yeah. It was 100 pound then. Okay, so far it's been not too bad so far. 
Why does he keep asking me these questions? What, what did you mean? <laughs> that your test has not been too bad? Or are you talking about the no, weather? I just, or I don't know. Throw, throw, throw something out there. <laughs> you want me to say something? All right, OK. Um, your manoeuvre, yeah. You're all right on your manoeuvre, Mark, so you can relax there. And there was one other bit as well, which you mentioned as well, wasn't there? No, you can tell me after, actually. Yeah, don't worry, don't okay. Worry. Now, oh, if you told me too much, I might be like, like... Mm, I might get too confident. I might not. I might not. Oh, oh. oh I wasn't going to say that, but no. <laughs> should, we, should we tell him more so he relaxes a little bit? <laughs> relax, get relax too much. Get you to read a book while you're driving. Really distract you. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Nobody do that. So I this, know. Is, this is an interesting one here. If there, was, if there was traffic, let's say there was traffic, would you mm. go and wait there or would you still wait here? You know where the arrow is? Well, you see, if you've crossed mm. that stop line at the mm. traffic light, mm. you would need to complete the whole junction, wouldn't you? So I think stopping where the arrow was mm. would be a serious driver fault because you're stopping in the middle of a junction. Exactly. You might not obscure traffic. I see what you're saying, yeah? Mm. Um, however, if you've crossed the solid line, the stop line at the traffic light, yeah. from my understanding, you would like to complete the junction. So if you're turning right, as an example, you cross that solid line and go in the junction. So you'd, you'd wait then, then. If, let's say you went to green, and um, but there was traffic by the box junction, you'd wait by the... By the, by the I would line. wait at the solid line, yeah. That's my experience, especially with yellow boxes like we had there. Don't go over the solid line. Don't go into the junction or, you know, until you can see that there's an exit. And then that's what the theory test teaches us, doesn't it? On my, on my TikTok, on my, one of the videos, I think the second one, there's a, there's a video just like that. Mm -hmm. People are arguing in the comments about mm -hmm. what, that I should have gone, I should have stayed, but I definitely should have stayed. Okay, yeah. It was, it was a right turn and it was blocked on the side. Yes, but, yeah. So here, the lanes, it looks like they're merging. I'm just going to be careful as I go forward. I'm going to check this car on my right here. It's like he's quite forceful into going forward, so I'm just going to let him do that. I'm not going to fight him. Still checking my mirrors. It's looking good now. Now it's back to one lane. So sometimes you might not notice uh, when there's actually two lanes merging together. Uh, there's your warning for this, for the speed, yeah? <laughs> it's on 30, though, yeah? If it wasn't there, honestly, mm -hmm. do you Directly. feel like you would have gone much faster? If not, it much, wasn't... not much faster, Okay. No. I find it easier to do, to maintain 30 than 20. Right. 20 is much harder for me to maintain than it is. By 30, I can kind of gauge how much how fast 30 is, but 20 is not so easy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 30 just has a certain feel to it, doesn't it? You know when you've gone above it, and you know when you're not at it as well, but 20 is, is a new one. But in your car, mm -hmm. your own car, you can kind of guess better, but in a different car, it's much, it's much harder. Yeah. This one it kind of rolls a little bit. So I need to turn right soon, so I'm just going to go into this lane here. Prepare to turn right. So there is a car park around the back of the test centre, or...? Uh, there is, but we're not going to go in there. Though, okay, alright. It's quite small, and we've only got a few spaces for the learners to go in there. Okay, cool. So there's the same guy from earlier, being a bit aggressive. Oh, it's right, okay. I remember him, yeah? <laughs> I think it's the next turning on the right, so I'm just gonna slow down here because the guy's reversing, oh. making the space a bit small. So that's kind of what you want to look out for, for people reversing and then turning. So I'm just gonna let people know that I'm turning right. So normally I'll be in this box, but you can see those cars are already there, so I'm just gonna wait for them to go past and then now I can go. There's my trainer there. I'm gonna turn here, Scott, yeah, because down here, down there is a bit, it's a bit busy down there, yeah, is that all right? Mm hmm yeah, thank you. And actually, would you just continue to follow this road a bit further down? Yeah. And when it's safe, I'd like you to show me. Turn left and then immediately turn left. Now turn. I'd like you to show me how you would demist the rear window, please. Uh... Turn right here if you want to, yeah. 
Thank you. The mystery window. Mm -hmm. The other way. Yeah. This one here? That's it. Done. And I can turn it off. Perfect. Turn right again. Checking both sides. Oh, there's a car there. But they need to wait because uh, they don't need to wait, but it's better for them to wait for them to let me turn. Because there's not much room there. Okay, going into the bend, keeping it nice and slow. And turn right, please. And pull up on the left in a convenient place. Mirrors. Nice spot here. Make sure I don't block that driveway. I'm going to tie a bit more. Thank you. And you can switch the engine off for me, please. Uh, <laughs> can I stop you? Stop you. Uh, yeah, is it all screen recorded? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and just stop the recording for me. Cool, and then it'll just go into the thing. I'm going to have a phone lady back again. Yeah, yeah. And just look into it. Cool. Nice one. Thank you, Wes. Thank you, guys. Right, so, uh, your test is officially over once the examiner has asked you to switch the engine off and secure the car, which Mark has done. Uh, Let's try again. Okay, which Mark has done, and uh, that is the end of your mock test, Mark. So, how do you feel it went? Um, I think you went all right. Good. Yeah. 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 So the car tripped me up a little bit by the hospital, though. Okay. That's, Good. That's the only thing I'm concerned. With yeah. When I saw the ten mile an hour sign, oh, notice on the dashboard there. I think it picked up the hospital's speed limit rather than that, than that road because if it was actually 20, ten there, there'll be another sign further down saying it's now back to thirty, but there wasn't. Good. Yeah. So that's your experience, you know that that happens one speed, you know, you would catch another sign where it changes and it never happened. Usually. So you seem to have the logical understanding of what the car was doing. Yes, maybe it picked up on a different speed limit, on a different mm. road, whatever it was, the car seemed to have been misinforming you. Mm. So if that's the case, what would you advise your learners to do? Because this technology, it's kind of, it's on sat nav, so you get on your driving test. Mm. So some people see that. It says 10 miles an hour on the sat nav on the driving test, mm. and it might not be. So, what would you advise? Just basically use your eyes, really, and not really rely too much on that. Good, yeah. So, look for signs and stuff, yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. right? Well, I can see it can be off road, off putting, especially for a learner, though. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're confident that this road is, is 20, for instance, and then they see a sign saying no, it's 30. That can be a bit like, oh, yeah. Big time. Speed, I think, I, I, I did a thing the other day, the three top reasons why people fail, and mm. speed is like number two. Because, well, it might not be on the official mm. observations at junctions is number one reason. Mm. But, you know, speed is a huge thing because you get all these changes, 20 mile an hour roads, so many people going over 20 miles an hour on a driving test, and they're failing for it now. So I'd be surprised if it, you know, comes up the list in speed because mm. the 20s are changing. Right, anything else that comes to mind before I give you a result? Everyone's probably like, stop bloody talking, tell us where we passed or <laughs> <laughs> No. No? You good? Yeah. All right, congratulations, Mark. Obviously, you passed, man. Yeah? It's finally, I redeem okay. myself. So, yes. Thank you. I want to thank... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank my, my trainer yeah, my that's trainer down the road. That's just run over there like this. I want to thank my kids for being there for me even though I failed. You know, they pushed me through and said, Dad, you can do it again. So, oh, thanks, guys. That's the best, <laughs> the best words you could ever say to anyone is yeah. you can do it. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, man. TikTok's gone. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so congrats. There's the cameras going. Uh, two driver faults. Okay, yes, the use of speed near the hospital. So, you know, it was fairly narrow. It's downhill. There was police in the road. There was pedestrians there. So 
kind of almost justified you being slower than what the speed limit was. Mm. Maybe it was a little bit too slow, 10 miles an hour, but, mm. you know, it's up to interpretation, really. I wouldn't say it'd be a serious driver fault, though, because of the con- conditions you were in. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Agree. Um, then your manoeuvre. <laughs> Right? Can we just chat about this before we end? Everyone's using these because they're so oh, easier. Sorry. Really. Uh, can we just chat you about your maneuver? <laughs> why? <laughs> Honestly. No, go on, go on, go on. What the? It wasn't that wide. Mark. Was it? Mark, mate. You can see it on the camera. Could you? Yeah, your tire's the thick yellow line, mm-hmm. and you were at least a tire and a half or maybe more. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's not more than, you know, I would say yeah. it was a bit more than a reasonable distance, the back, mm-hmm. maybe, mm-hmm. right? But it's getting there, isn't it? Was, it? it was going away. And it was a little bit crazy. It was crooked, it was crooked. But with, 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 the, with the right reverse, um, yeah. I don't think, I don't look at it like, you know when you parallel park it? Mm-hmm. It's not the same kind of, for me anyway, it's not the same kind of, you know, closeness to the curb. Yeah. It can be a bit further, I think. It doesn't have to be super Okay, close. yeah, no, when you pull over and stop or parallel park, yeah. you mean. Okay, yeah. all right, well, it's a reasonable distance, which yeah. is about the size of a steering wheel, okay? Steering That's fair, though. I, I, it, was, it was a bit okay. wide. Yeah, that was a driver fault, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's no, nothing major. Okay, that's the end of the video. I've been Scott, this has been Mark. Thanks, guys. Stay safe, stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.